Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Heavy Repping. My name is John Tron Davidson, and I'm here once again in our beautifully sunlit, utterly idyllic test location in the southwest of England. So for this week's video, what I thought I'd do is I'd do an actual review. It's been a while since I've done a proper review here on the channel, what with top fives and the science and everything else. And today I'm going to cover something that you probably don't know that you're already very familiar with. Before we get underway today though, I would like to say a big shout out to James at James's Home of Tone. Thanks uh, for sending me this glorious, glorious t-shirt, which I am modeling the back of here. Uh, James does all sorts of crazy stuff and um, gets in millimetric and Jennings and a whole load of other, and Gravity and that sort of stuff. Whole load of different guitar companies, uh, pick companies and pedal companies and so on, run from his own little shop. Uh, in the north of England, and he also has the brother of the stick, uh, the baritone version of the stick, which you can go and see at his website. So, big shout out to James, great bloke, thanks very much. Now, I did say I was going to do a pick with which you don't realise that you're familiar, and indeed, if you look down here, you will see the little HR symbol in the corner. That actually does come from a plectrum, and it comes from this plectrum, this is uh, an, one of six heavy repping plectrums that were made for me by Cruz Camacho at Woodland Cast. And so I've written about them before, but I've never had an opportunity to review the actual HR picks. So today I'm going to do exactly that to make sure that you can really hear what's going on as well. Uh, I'm going to use the camera that I'm talking into now, and I'm going to be using uh, an all solid body washburn. Um, to convey the sound to you. So, without further ado, let's go. So just so you know a little bit about Woodland Cast, uh, Cruz Camacho is based out in Canada and he makes everything from um, plectrums to parts for paintball guns and knobs and tuners and everything using epoxy. Uh, all of his picks so far have been made with epoxy as part of it. Some of them, like the Cobra, uh, are made partly from wood and partly from epoxy. Uh, some of them are all epoxy, like the flower here. And he does one called Glow, uh, which ended up in this magnificent photograph that I took in space. He also makes uh, key rings as well, which I haven't got to hand, so I'll probably just cut that out of the video. So just to give you an idea of how this sounds in the real world, because it's obviously modelled on the Jazz 3 XL, I'm going to put it next to a Jazz 3 XL and you're going to be able to hear exactly how they sound. So let me get out the old Canon and we'll do the business. So what have we learned from talking about this? Well, this pick is brighter than the Jazz 3 and it's definitely got way more push. Uh, that will be predominantly because it's twice the thickness and also because it's made from epoxy and not from nylon. Nylon's got a slightly dead entry, though the sound is relatively bright, you get a kind of sort of sound as you get up into the top strings. Um, this has got more body and oomph to it. I would also... <laughs> I would also say... Thank you, darling. As a physical experience, this is much more enjoyable. This will depend very much on your skin type and the nature of how damp your hands get when you play. 
but I found that the epoxy bonds very, very well with my fingers. Here's the situation with this. This has got more power than a Jazz 3. It is twice the thickness, obviously. Jazz 3 is about a mil and a half, 1.6 with the writing. Uh, it's got more body, it's got more bite, it's got more power. Uh, I think the grip is better because it's made from epoxy and really glues into one's fingers. I genuinely think that in terms of value for money and just the sculpt of this, uh, these are excellent. It's also worth noting that I have some of the earliest stuff that Cruz made. Um, this was one of the very first picks he sent me, which is part wood, as I mentioned before, with an epoxy coat. And his sculpting, his bevels and everything, it's been an honour to watch him come on. The new stuff that I've had, things like the polka dots, the cobra, um, the glow series and these, are legions away from where Cruz has been, but you're not buying his picks from a year ago, you're buying his picks from today. And so I can look you straight in the eye, internet. So, if you would like a little piece of Canadian magic, do go and check out Woodland Cast. I've been honoured to have these made for me because he sent these to me with no sort of forewarning, um, and they've ended up in every video since I figured out how to do that. So uh, yeah, go and check out Woodland Cast, Wicked Bits of Gear. So I hope you've enjoyed this little review of the Woodland Cast Heavy Repping Plectrum. I'll be back next Tuesday at half past six uh, for some more exciting information from the Plectroverse. And uh, I'll be filming that new series, I Rest My Case, quite soon. So look out for that. I'm very excited about it. If you're a band, preferably based in the UK, and you would like to be on I Rest My Case, please get in touch. You can hit me up at itsheavyrepping at gmail.com uh, or on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, probably not Twitter. My name is John Tron Davidson. This is Heavy Repping. And I'll see you soon. Just remember, if you're not sure what to do in life, rep hard, rep heavy. <laughs>